Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel Lopez with Investing Finance and today we are going to be talking about the Webull account. I'm taking this account from $100 to a million dollars and I'm documenting the entire process so that way you guys can see how easy it is to start investing in the stock market. In this video, we're going to be talking about the plan for the account, how long it's going to take us to reach a million dollars at the current rate, why it's important to start investing, and at the very end, I'll show you guys how you can sign up for Webull. That being said, let's jump right into it. As you can see, the account value is $2,372.07. I opened this account on August 25th of this year, 2022. Every day, I have been investing $5 into the stock market and buying Vanguard's VOO. I have another video talking about why I have selected Vanguard's VOO. If you're interested in that video, go check it out. The plan for the account is to reach $1,000, which we already have reached. Then we wanna reach $10,000, followed by $100,000, and the grand finale, last but not least, $1 million in this Webull account. Now, it might seem impossible to reach a million dollars by just investing $5 a day, but with compound interest and consistently investing in the market, I have no doubt in my mind that this account will reach a million dollars. With compound interest, it also requires a lot of time. So as long as you're consistently investing and with time, compound interest is going to exponentially increase the value of the account. So I have pulled up a compound interest calculator so we can currently see how long it will take this account to reach $1 million. Let me pull that calculator up right now. Okay, here is the compound interest calculator. Based on what I currently have, the balance is $2,372. Every year I am contributing $1,250 and initially we said that it was going to take 45 years so let's just go ahead and put 45 years to start off with on average I'm gonna go on the higher rate of return for the S&P 500 which is around 10% so let's go ahead and see how long it will take us okay so at 45 years currently we will have 1 million $61,000. That means we will get to a million dollars a lot faster. Let's lower the years to 44 years. Okay, we still have $1,054,000. Let's lower it to 43 years. Okay, we have $957,000. So based on these calculations, you can see that initially it was going to take us 45 years. Now, the number of years has reduced to around 43 years, give or take. Now, I am 35 right now, so I will be 78 when this account reaches $1 million. However, I think the account will reach a $1 million a lot sooner. We're in a recession right now, and everything that I am buying is at a discount. The stock market is down around 20%. So as I'm buying, I'm buying these shares at a lower price from when they previously were at their highs. So that is something to take into account. Now I wanna talk about why it is important to invest. You might be watching this and you might be asking yourself, wow, 45 years is a long time. Well, yes, 45 years is a long time, but it also depends on how old you are. Because if you are 18 years old, then you could have a million dollars at the age of 63. Now, you might be saying, oh, 63 is old. At 63, I mean, I don't know what my health is going to be like and things like that. But what I say to that or what I say to someone who says, oh, a million dollars is not enough money is, okay, what is the alternative? If you do nothing and you do not invest anything, then you won't have any money. So this is why I have made this Webull account because I wanna show you guys with as little as $5 a day invested in the stock market 
just tracking a simple S&P 500 index fund, in this case, Vanguard's VOO, you can build up your portfolio. Now, I've done this in an extreme case with my 401k, and I made a video about it in the link. And you can see that in 10 years, I was able to transform this account to half a million dollars. So with compound interest, with rate of return, and the stock market, what matters is how much money you invest and how long you invest for. If you wanna reach a million dollars a lot faster, then you have to contribute and invest more money. I have another video where I talk about how much money it will take to reach a million dollars in 10 years. If you're interested in that, go check that out. But Overall guys, I can't stress how important it is to start investing, even if it's only a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, any amount. As long as you invest consistently, I'm doing daily, but you can do every week, every month, every year, you can do one big amount and buy a simple S&P 500 index fund and your money will grow. I want you guys to see that this is not a complicated thing to do. And I'm not selling anything. I don't have any courses, things like that. I became financially independent at the age of 34. I worked a corporate job and I was able to do this in 10 years. I saved my money and I invested my money with patience. I was able to reach a net worth of $1.5 million. Part of that is my 401k which you can watch the video i have half a million dollars in there but it's the same principles and the principles are if you invest any amount in the stock market the account will grow the money will grow and it will over time increase however with the stock market as you guys can currently see the stock market is down so the account will be going up and down like a roller coaster and this is normal because the stock market goes in cycles, it goes in waves, and this is something to be expected. If you need this money immediately, I would highly suggest that you do not invest that money because this is a long-term investment. So only invest what you're willing to not have to pull out right away. And I would highly recommend having an emergency fund before you even start investing at all. That way, if something happens, you can pull out of your emergency fund and you won't have to pull out of the stock market. This is an individual stock brokerage account. So at any time you can pull the money out if you need to. This is not a retirement account or Roth IRA, traditional IRA. This is an individual brokerage account. So I can put money in and I can take it out whenever I want. There will be taxes you will have to pay, but that does not happen unless you sell any of your positions. So let's go back to the Webull account, look at what I have inside my portfolio, and then if you guys are interested in signing up for Webull, I'll let you know exactly how you can do that. So here is my Webull account. We already went over the balance, but here is what I have as far as what I'm holding. All these are free stocks that Webull has given me through their referral program, which if you already have a Webull account, I would highly recommend you go to the promotion tab on the app and you see what promotions they're offering because Webull loves to give a free stock if you refer anyone and they're able to sign up and make a deposit of at least one penny, they can get up to 12 stocks valued at $30,600 dollars if you guys are interested in signing up for Webull the link is in the description check that out the great thing about Webull is that you can buy fractional shares if you thought that investing takes hundreds of dollars thousands of dollars with Webull it makes it so easy because you can buy a minimum of five dollars in any stock ETF that you're interested in buying and you can set up automatic deposits and automatic reoccurring buying, which makes it super simple. Anyways, guys, let's look at what I have in my account. As you can see, I have Genworth Financial, I have Gap, 
I have a Kraft Heinz Vanguard, which is the only TF that I'm buying. Apple, KO, PG, CX, AR, UWMC, Ford, and Snap. So this is what my portfolio has. My largest holding is Apple. And my second largest holding is Vanguard VOO. Some of these stocks, I received dividends. So once those dividends total $5, I will be buying Vanguard's VOO. So that will just be an added bonus to the $5 a day I'm investing. But if you stuck around and watched this video to the very end, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe. I'm going to be giving updates and showing you guys inside my account, showing you guys when I buy Vanguard's VOO. As soon as I receive $5 in dividends, I'll show you guys how I buy it. And at the end of the year, I'll show you guys which tax forms I'm going to get and show you guys what I will be doing if I will be selling or buying any more holdings with what I have currently. Typically, if a stock or an ETF goes below 10%, usually I tend to sell those holdings and then use them to buy something that I know will increase in value. In this case, I'm only going to be buying Vanguard's VOO. So anything that I sell, I will just be putting back into Vanguard. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, please subscribe. Share the video if you think someone else can benefit from it. Go check out my other videos. Peace.